We might be headed toward a recession, but there could be a bigger problem on the horizon coming for us soon. With rising mortgage rates and the persistent inflation, millions are worried about the looming recession that is coming in the weeks or months ahead. But some experts are saying our attention should be elsewhere. As we all know, mortgage rates have climbed well over 7%. the highest they have been in nearly 20 years. The Fed, well, they continue their efforts to try to curb this inflation, to try to do whatever they can. But once again, they have dropped the ball. They started too late. And now we, the American people, are paying the ultimate price because of this. The rapidly rising mortgage rate, more than double what it was, just this time last year, reflects the ongoing fight to tame the inflation. They're trying to cool the markets down. They're trying to do things to get the inflation back under control. But such moves by the Fed have historically led to a recession. The current economic climate is unlike any other in the history. And despite looming recession fears, some economists say it's still not heading towards a massive fallout. The Treasury Secretary, she did make a statement this past week, and she doesn't believe that there's any signs of a recession. Must be she is living with blinders on. She said there were several problems that we could have had and difficulties many American families could have faced. What are they facing right now? A lot of people are having problems paying their bills, putting food on a table, and they're working. What is she talking about? She says, in essence, it could be worse, a lot worse. It is a lot worse. I think this lady needs to wake up and smell the roses because there's a lot of people out here that are suffering on a daily basis. These are problems we don't have because of what she says that the Biden administration has done. Yes, what has the Biden administration done? Has put us in a hole for hiring and putting people in place that seem incompetent to do their jobs. And we are paying the price. It can be difficult to think of the economy moving forward in times when mortgage rates are skyrocketing. The time of selling your house has long come and gone. Inflation remains at record highs and layoffs are starting to happen left and right throughout our country. But still the economy and the labor market are stronger than they may appear on the surface. So what does that mean? Basically what they're looking for is to get the job market to start to fall. They need people on the unemployment line. They need to put you out of a job in order to get the inflation back under control. They need to close the small businesses in order to get the inflation back under control. Basically what they're looking for is to put everybody that they can on the unemployment line in those lines for food banks. This is what we have been faced with by these government type officials. And their response is, this is all lack of immigration and childcare reform. So they say the size of the working population in the US is concerning to them. And if we don't solve this immigration problem, they're talking about worrying about recessions. If that doesn't happen, we have to bring in more people to curb the inflation rate. Doesn't make any sense. You have to sit back and wonder what they are really doing. Make no mistake. Key changes need to be made to protect 
the labor market or a bigger problem than a recession could be on the horizon. Here in the United States, we are the home to the highest number of immigrants in the world. An estimated 50.6 million people in the United States right now, a bit more than 15% of the total population of 331 million people. The number of immigrants in the U.S. has increased by 400% since 1965. More than 6,000 are tourists, business people, students, or foreign workers who are welcomed at our airport's border crossings. About 2,200 daily arrivals are immigrants or refugees who are been invited to become permanent residents of the United States, and they say they need more. Something doesn't smell right. And when you're talking about a recession, you have to make sure that you are prepared. You want to try to put away from what the government says, three to six months worth of your basic living expenses in an emergency account in the unfortunate event that you become unemployed. The word unfortunate is used very loosely, meaning if the government can put you out of a job and in an unemployment line. But let's face the facts. Most people are living paycheck to paycheck. How are they supposed to put up three to six months worth of basic living expenses in an emergency account that they can't even afford to put probably a dollar or two into because they're spending all their money and the inflation that we live in and the recession that we are living in now, where does it all end? And on November 2nd, the feds are going to be raising the prices by 75 basis points again. And then before Christmas, they're going to be raising them once again at probably another 50 basis points. This is all getting out of control, folks. And we just don't know where the end is. We don't know how this is going to end for a lot of the American people here in this country right now. But they're talking. It's going to take till 2024 to start seeing these rates come down. You have to plan now in order to survive this economic storm that the government is brewing. That they're going to put us through and let's pray to God that everybody out there can do whatever they can to be prepared, to be ready, because the government wants to put you in the unemployment line. And that's the fact. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody stay safe. Keep prepping. Do what you can do to be ready to weather the coming storm.